Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So here are two Galaxy S22 Ultra. The white one on the left is the Snapdragon variant, and the burgundy one on the right is the Exynos variant. You can see the device information as well as the SOC information here in this software. And by the way, both are the 512 gigabytes of ROM and 12 gigabytes of RAM version. Okay, so a lot of my subscribers actually asked me to do a speed test between these two devices, right? Because they are concerned if the Exynos variant will be significantly slower than the Snapdragon during day-to-day -day usage. And that is exactly what we are going to do today. And let's get right into the test. First of all, let's take a look at the device temperature. They both start at around 30 degrees, which is okay it's not warm so that is a fair comparison between these two devices and the very first thing we are going to do is just a restart test so this is to clear any background process as well as to test the boot up speed of these two devices here i won't speed up the footage so that you can have a real feeling of how quickly each of these devices can boot up It seems the Snapdragon is a little bit faster here. It's showing the Samsung logo a bit quicker than the Exynos. And uh, yes, yeah, the Snapdragon boosts up first, but the, the Exynos is almost as fast, right? I think the difference is maybe only one second or so. Okay, first thing, let's check the fingerprint speed. All right, it seems to me that there is really no difference. Maybe a split second faster on the Exynos, but really, yeah, I think you can say that they are the same. You won't notice any difference unless you put them side by side and compare very, very carefully. And next, let's do some app launching speed test. As you can see here, there's no recent apps, no background apps. First is Facebook, uh, seems to be a fraction of second faster on the Snapdragon and Instagram. Okay, a slightly faster on Snapdragon, Play Store, mm, faster on the Exynos and the Samsung Galaxy App Store. Yeah, slightly faster on Snapdragon. And YouTube. Okay, it looks a little bit faster on the Exynos, but almost the same. Twitter. Almost the same, I think. TikTok. Okay, slightly faster on Snapdragon. And next, let's try to launch PUBG Mobile game. This will probably take more time so that we can, I mean, hopefully we can see some difference here. It seems the, the Exynos is actually faster here. Oh, yes, the Exynos is faster in PUBG Mobile loading. And the uh, Snapdragon is slower by a couple of seconds, maybe. No big difference here as well. Next, let's try to install Subway Surfer from Play Store and then uh, launch that game so that we can also test the app installation speed on both devices. Okay, actually, they seem to be very, very similar. They finish the installation almost at the same time. And then let's launch the game. Seems to be slightly faster on Snapdragon. Still very, very small difference, but it's slightly faster on Snapdragon. Okay, next let's test the Wi-Fi speed. So we'll install this speed test software first, and then we are going to test the Wi-Fi speed with this. So for installation, let's see which is quicker. Yeah, a little bit faster on Snapdragon, maybe faster by one second. And then app launching seems to be more or less the same. And let's test the speed first on Snapdragon. Okay, we are seeing some amazing 
Wi-Fi speed here, more than 600 megabits. And by the way, my router is not a Wi-Fi 6 router. So if you have a Wi-Fi 6 router, I suppose the speed could be even faster. Okay, I actually sped up the footage a little bit. So now we have the results. They seem pretty similar. I think the Wi-Fi speed is no different on these two devices. Next, let's try to launch the camera and see which one is faster. Okay, seems to be a little bit faster on Exynos. Try again. Okay, faster on Exynos. Try again. Yep, this time almost the same. Maybe uh, still a little bit faster on Exynos. Next, let's try some browsing with Chrome browser. Okay, here we tried a few websites like XDA Developer, uh, GSM Arena, some mobile, and it seems generally the Snapdragon is always faster when browsing comparing to the Exynos, right? But the difference is really not that big. Lastly, we'll do some slightly heavier tasks. So first of all, we'll use Lightroom to export this 108 megapixel photo, right? Uh, we'll add uh, the same effects to this photo and then export it, see which device can export faster. Okay, save to device at the same time. This may take a moment, all right. Yep, and Snapdragon is a little bit faster here. Here you can see these are the exact same footage. So it's a 4K 60 FPS footage I recorded on S22 Ultra. So we are going to export this as a 2K footage. So everything will be the same. And let's start at the same time. 3, 2, 1. Okay, both devices are taking a bit longer to process this 4K 60fps video and the Snapdragon seems to be finished first. I use 1 minute and 9 seconds and followed by the Exynos which use 1 minute and 19 seconds. And lastly, let's check the background process from these two devices, see whether they can keep all the apps in background. Okay, so far so good. Actually, I don't expect to see any difference in terms of the ability to keep apps in the background because they are, after all, they both have 12 gigs of RAM, so there shouldn't be any difference. And I think, yes, we, we are seeing some reload from, I think it's from Instagram. Yep, so both devices have to reload Instagram and uh, I think as well as for Facebook. But other than that, it's all the same. Alright guys, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.